But we're starting in Hampton with crime concerns from the city's top cop. Back to back investigations have police working to catch the criminals. Only 10 on your side's Joe Fisher sat down with the chief and Joe, he's warning people if they commit crimes, they will do time. And what else did he have to say? Well, Tom and Anita, we all know crime goes in waves and crime, that crime wave in Hampton this month is higher than normal and the chief is not happy about it. Guns, gangs and drugs, the center of the division's focus as they investigate these new crimes and try to figure out why the violence is happening. Every day we have officers on the street that are working overtime. Investigators in Hampton have opened file after file over the last month with more than a dozen reported shootings. So we're starting to see an increase in violent crime across the board that tends to be youth and tends to be gun focused. Police Chief Terry Salt says guns, combined with a heroin epidemic, have created a perfect storm for criminal activity. Because now we have individuals out there with two, three hundred dollar a day habits who have to support those habits through breaking into cars or rifling through cars. The chief says there's reason for concern, encouraging everyone to be aware of their surroundings and to lock up their homes and cars. What is the biggest or most difficult issue facing the city of Hampton? Uh, economic development. With economic development comes opportunity. Uh, it comes funding for your public safety resources. It comes to opportunities for jobs for kids. It's kids and young adults ages 14 to 24 who the chief says commit most of the violent crime. Crime that's on track to be higher this year than the previous two years. So what are they doing about it? Chief Salt says the department over time will add 10 new officers. They've also started working with the FBI, ATF, and the U.S. Attorney's Office. When we go all hands on deck and we have crime back to back, uh, and you would think and I worry about our operational capacity and the stress it causes on our troops. That's really when they begin to shine. The city overall, he says, the second safest in Hampton Roads behind Virginia Beach, and he wants to keep it that way. If you pick up a gun, expect to do time. And also at the end of the day, uh, if you want to turn your life around, we'll stand beside you. And the chief says they are doing their part both behind the scenes and out on the streets to try to lock these criminals up. Now they're asking the community to work with them and to bring forth any information at all to try to crack some of these cases open to bring justice to those involved. I'm Joe Fisher, Ted on your side.